I wanted to jump on another video. It's been about two years since I launched the course on creating a course for healthy professionals. And now that I'm a financial therapist, in addition to being a course creator, I'd like to celebrate that I have 20 course offerings out there right now. Something that's come up a lot is pricing. How do we price the course? We've created it. We've talked about marketing, ideal client, the gift you're giving. But what about the pricing of that course? So here are a couple things to consider as you get ready to fully launch your course or even develop it. So it's easier to do a price point once it's created because there are a couple things I want you to think about. The first of which is how long is the course? That will impact your pricing. If this is a six module, six hour commitment, that could justify a higher price point than a 45 minute webinar, for example. Another thing to consider, are you offering CEs or continued education credits for the course? If your audience is helping professionals, therapists, nurses, or whatnot, do they get continued education for taking your course? For a lot of folks, that adds value to the price point and it allows them to commit to a price point that might be higher than most because they're getting something in return in addition to all that valuable information you're sharing. Another thing to consider, what's the course cost when it comes to the platform you put it on? So if maybe you're accruing a monthly cost for the platform and you need to break even, if not make money, which of course is the ideal down the road, is to actually have this become a secondary income stream. So factoring in your expenses for the platform that it lives on, the system for people to purchase it, for them to log in and utilize it, what are the costs month to month or year to year? All of this comes into play when you think about the overall value of the course. Are they seeing value because of you and your expertise? Are you known in your community? Have you branded so that people find you trustworthy to invest in your course? Is it about the CEs? Is it about the quality of the product? Is it also about the uniqueness of the product? Is there something else out there? So we talked about in the marketing module of this course that you're looking at your competitors and what their price points are. You're also asking your beta testers, what would you pay for something like this? So all of these factor into pricing. It's not a one and done. Sometimes it takes a little bit of adjustment or tweaking as you go. Maybe you start with a low price point. Maybe you start higher than you feel comfortable. Bring it down. Uh, there is psychology to discounts and percentages off. So that's something else to play with. Uh, we also know that people now look at a 9.5 end or 9.7 versus 9.9. So instead of 14.99, we now think of 14.95 or 14.97. Just some interesting things that have changed over the last two years. So this is what I would talk to you about if we were doing a professional consultation on your secondary income stream of a course. Hopefully this is helpful to you as you think about a lot of different factors that add its value.